What is going on everybody and welcome back. We're here on the free to play account the road to max rank and we are going up against the Int LR Bojax Easy Aid is finally out on global. He is really really good um, and he sets up a pretty uh, power as a powerful partner for any future Bojack cards that either get Easy A's awakenings and or brand new additions to the game, right? So very powerful card. We'll go over his kit while doing these last two fights. Uh, this time around, you have to use Entrusted Will. Entrusted Will has some pretty powerful characters um, in it when it comes to just cards in general. Um, so you can definitely get it done for sure. Um, I don't have all the Entrusted Will cards, so I can't show everybody. But, dude, UI Goku, HL Gohan, Namek Goku, right? Fucking LR Bojack, you'll be fine. And you definitely do want to use uh, the trunks for your lead. If not, the sub lead you could probably use is the Super Saiyan Goku and Gohan. That would work with the, you know, the Goku family team, right? But since I am using these guys, right, huh? I am not going to do that. And I kind of want to use the leader if I have them, right? To kind of show that, right? Um, we're going to go ahead and swap them out and choose the other trunks so let's go ahead and jump right in obviously we're able to defend really well um to a point and then obviously uh, the attacking is from the lrs all right so we got a fantastic starting rotation all right let's let's do this i already have bojack pulled up so we'll we'll, we'll talk about bojack here as we do this rotation so full power bojack galactic warrior uh, extreme in type key plus four all stats 120% or super in type uh, three key and all stats 90%. His passive skill is attack and defense 150% plus an additional attack boost up to 100%. The more HP remaining, the greater attack boost and an additional uh, defensive boost up to 100%. The less HP remaining, the greater the defense boost. Um, key plus one up to five key plus an additional attack and defense plus 10% up to 50% per extreme class ally on the team. Uh, changes tech key spheres to rainbow key spheres when there is another space traveling warrior, uh, warrior, warriors category ally attacking in the same turn. Uh, plus an additional attack and defense 50% with five or more key, uh, key spheres obtained. Uh, his 12 key is raises defense for one turn, causes colossal damage to the enemy, and massively lowers defense. Um, and his uh, 18 key is raises defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy, raises extreme class allies attack by 40% for one turn. Um, his links are, hold on, let me set up this next rotation, this next fight. Double trunks. All right, let's do this. Uh, his links are the Hera Clan, Galactic Warriors, Bid by Bid, Big Bad Bosses, Thirst for Conquest, Revival, Shattering the Limit, Legendary Power. Hold on, let me set up this rotation. Uh, uh more or less the same. Let's do this and this. All right. Um, his categories are full power, join forces, movie bosses, resurrect the warriors, legendary existence, stored figures, time travelers, space traveling warriors, and terrifying conquerors. His best linking partner is the Dokkan Fest transforming uh, Bojack, right? So um, it's his best out of five out of seven links. Then he links up very well, obviously, with the other Bojacks that exist in the game. The Fizz World Tournament Bojack could potentially eventually get an easy awakening and maybe an easy A. And he could be a really good partner for him. Uh, the next count, you know, I mean, Demon King Piccolo, four out of seven links. Uh, Baby, four out of seven links, but only on three teams. Demon King Piccolo's on seven teams with Bojack, which is insane. Uh, the, another, like, say for top tier character, um, LR Fizz Metal Cooler and LR Final Form Cooler share three out of seven, which, you know, big bad bosses, legendary power, you know, shattering the limited thirst for conquest, stuff like that, right? Are going to be shared with a lot of boss characters, but there you go. Um, so very, very nice, very, very powerful setup for a character for an easy A for sure. Can definitely get really high stats, right? And, you know. The less HP you have, the more defense. The more uh, HP you have, the more attack, which is definitely the way you want to do that. There's some characters out there that it's flipped, which is kind of stupid. 
Um, but this is the correct way to do that HP remaining crap, right? I've never liked it, right? Unless it's like an exponential amount. Uh, but this one's fine. Especially for an easy ALR, you know, character, right? His stats are pretty up there, right? Uh, his 100% stats are for sure up there. Um, so he is really good. And because he is a support for attack for extreme class, if he gave defense, it would make him even better. But, you know, but he gives himself defense on super attack. Now, the remaining question is how would you build Bojack? So Bojack is in, in two different places. So you can build him completely offensively, and he could be a fantastic, amazing offensive character. Or you could build him with full dodge, right? Obviously, the full dodge thing is always on the table for every single card in the game, uh, for the most part. But I feel personally, uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna watch this. Yeah, dude. Eventually, Namagoku is going to get an easy gate, and that, my man, is going to be stupid good. Anyway, um, but how would I personally build Bojack? I don't have Bojack on this account, so I can't show an example or anything of how I already thought up. But if and when I do get him, right, which hopefully is sooner rather than later, um, how would I personally build him? So I would actually build him as a pure offensive unit. Here is why. You can go with the dodge route and give him like 30 dodge or whatever, right? And have him like no additional stuff like that, which is fine because then you utilize the support, right? That he has, which he, he creates orbs and stuff like that. He can, he, he gives, you know, a huge attack boost when, when he attacks, right? Which is really, really good. But you also like, it also takes away from the crazy amount of damage he could potentially do, right? Um, for sure. So the problem is that he doesn't give himself attack on super attack on his super attack effect. So, you know, it's it's kind of like a, he's kind of in a weird place. Right. In my opinion, when it comes to building the character, I genuinely don't think there's a bad way of doing it because you have any benefits from an all dodge build because he kind of supports. Right. And he's a rainbow orb changer. Uh, but. Dude, this guy could probably do a ridiculous amount of damage as an eventuality once you get, say, like a Path to Power Kid Goku level Bojack or something like that. Or a villain that fits um, a lot of the, like, would fit a lot of his links, right, for sure, or could support him, right? Um, or maybe the eventuality of the EZA of STR Bojack, but that's probably a little bit of ways, right? But not the other Bojacks that exist that already exist in the game before the easy before the Dokkan Fest one. So there is that as well. Also, we're in line for a proper full power Bojack um, Dokkan Fest, right? That's like we we're 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 in line for a proper representation of that movie, right? For sure. But th with that being said, guys, how do you think you would build Bojack? I'm kind of torn between two ways. I would most likely build him as a full offensive character, just a beast of an attacking unit, right? Because of all the stuff he can do. Um, and the dodge would kind of be like the secondary one, right? Um, or even the third. Or I would probably wouldn't even give him dodge in the first place. Um, I, would, I would most likely lean for the offensive capabilities of this in Bojack, for sure, right? Um, but that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I'm really interested how you would build Bojack or your thoughts of this Bojack. Do you think they could have made it better? Do you think that they did fine, you know, or they fumbled? Let me know in the comments, right? Uh, but with that, I do appreciate you guys watching until the end of the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is a team that I use. Good luck with this Bojack. It doesn't seem too hard, right? Dynamic Goku just wails him with his active skill right and then if you last the first four turns ui goku can use his active skill you have the guard of the ago gohan right and then you have fizz bardock and i believe ultimate gohan's under trusted will um if i don't remember correctly right <laughs> but i'm out of here hope you guys enjoy i'll catch you guys later peace take care